I was sitting in the garden the other day and I just happened to notice that the big massive tree that's in the garden, you know, the blossom tree, it's amazing how much foliage it's taken on and it's grown unbelievably well. You know, and I was thinking, you know, that growth is taking place all around us and the flowers at the moment, the trees, the plants, the shrubs. Words can't capture the magnificence of the scene of the cycle of nature as it blossoms forth in all its beauty. It's fascinating and a sure sign that harvest time's approaching. We don't have to be professional gardeners to appreciate the, that growth is a gradual process. It has its origins in tiny seeds being buried in the earth and demands time, tender care and patience for it to blossom and produce fruits. The readings today are concerned with growth, not physical growth, but spiritual growth. They speak of the importance of us coming to God in prayer and good works in order to grow in God's favour and friendship. God is at work in every age and in each of our lives. The seed of his word was first planted in our hearts at baptism. Our task is to water and to tenderly care for it so that it can work powerfully within us. As most of us were baptised as infants, parents have a vital role in nurturing the seed of God's word in their children. The example they set by prayer and good Christian living in the home will go a long way in determining their children's attitude to life and to God. The mustard tree reminds us of an important truth of the Christian life. The seed of God's life within us grows slowly and invisibly. We cannot rush the growth of seed in the earth and neither can we rush God's growth in our hearts. There's nothing we can do to hurry it because our path to perfection is so frustratingly slow and often we lose heart. Many of us have the uneasy feeling that after years of struggling with the Christian life, we are no nearer to God. There appears to be no mastering of our personal shortcomings. The same old sins keep recurring, preventing our progress on the roadway to perfection. Patient endurance and unbounded hope are virtues we need to develop. How easy we forget that God rewards our efforts, our ability to keep trying and not our excellence. We fail to realise that his grace can work through our human weakness and limitations and can accomplish what is beyond our dreams. We are not going to be able to measure it, but can be certain that it will happen, provided we play our part and are intent on pleasing God. We tend the seed of the word of God that has been planted in our hearts by prayer and the sacraments, which dispose us to perform good works and acts of loving kindness. In this way, we make ready the earth in which the seed of God's word can blossom. There's no age at which we cannot grow in God's grace. So let's realize that life is but a passing shadow and the few years given to us here below are for soul making.